Hi everybody. In this video, I want to show you everything about the Klarna Payments extension. With Klarna Payments, you can give your customers an easy shopping experience. You are always paid in full upfront, while your customers can decide when to pay. Klarna offers you the following payment options. Klarna Invoice, Klarna Installment Purchase, and Klarna Instant Bank Transfer. So let's start with the requirements. First, we've got the Klarna Merchant Account. Before you can set up and use Klarna and Shopware, you need to open a Merchant Account with Klarna. And then we've got the technical requirements. To install the Klarna plugin, you need a running Shopware 6 environment. You can find an installation guide on our docs.shopware.com. And the system requirements for the plugin are the following. Shopware version 6.1 or higher, PHP version 7.2 or higher, and complete installation of Shopware, storefront and administration, not headless. So now we come to the installation. The installation of Klarna Payments is possible in several ways. On the one hand, you can obtain and configure the extension directly during the installation of Shopware in the initial setup wizard. Or, on the other hand, you can also license the Klarna payment extension directly in the Shopware store at store.shopware.com. You can then download and install the extension under Extensions, My Extensions. So I already did that. So let's install the app now. After the installation, the Klarna extensions can be initially configured. For this, we will guide you through an installation routine. To reach this, first activate the, the, the extension via the slider, which is this button here. After the extension has been activated, you can call the installation routine in form of a wizard in the administration via Settings, Extensions, Klarna. You will then be redirected to the routine. In the menu item Sales channel of the wizard, you have the possibility to assign Klarna payment method to all or only certain sales channels. The default setting is all sales channels, like this. Um, if you want the Klarna plugin to be available for all your sales channels, you can skip the setting. Um, if you want the Klarna plugin to be available for only uh, specific sales channels, select the sales channel you want to configure in the drop-down menu. Like in our case, we'll just choose the test shop. In this drop-down menu, just choose Klarna Payments for the used Klarna products and click on Next. At this point, you will get some information about the Klarna documentation. So if you have any questions, you can click here for the direct link to the Klarna documentation. Click on the button Finish to save all the settings you have made in the wizard. Uh, you will then be redirected to the extension configuration. So, after you have successfully completed the wizard, you can adjust the extension configurations. Let's start with the sales channel. Here, you determine whether the following settings shall apply to all sales channels or only to certain sales channels. In our case, we will just choose all sales channels. Then we come to the API settings. Here, you enter the API username and API password. Then you've got the API um, test mode. Um, here you can activate or deactivate the API test mode um, if it is activated, only test orders are created and no payments will be made, which debit an account. Um, this mode is recommended for testing the, the features of the extensions uh, for updates or when setting up the shop for the first time. 
Then we've got the API username and API password. This is just for when you use the test mode. And then we have the debug mode. Um, you can activate and deactivate the debug mode. So if it is um, activated, you can track all inputs, outputs, and changes of the extension in the Klarna plugin log. Then we come to the on-site messaging settings. Um, you can activate or deactivate the Klarna on-site messaging, which is with this slide here. Um, if you already have data for it, you can fill in the fields uh, for the script and the snippets. Um, if you don't have any data, you can create data by clicking on this button, generate your data here. Um, the client on-site messaging will only be displayed on the product detail page. So when using um, financing placements, uh, the, the amount must be issued via the variables, otherwise no placement uh, yeah, will be displayed. Then we've got the payment behavior. Um, yeah, we've got two selections here, automatic capture and automatic refund. In both cases, so if you choose between, yeah, you can choose between order status, delivery status and deactivated. And if you have selected delivery status or order status, a further selection appears in which you can determine at which delivery status or which auto, uh, order status um, the outstanding amount should be automatically captured. Uh, it's just the same with the automatic refund. Um, if you choose delivery status or order status, a further selection appears um, yeah, in which you can determine which delivery status or which order status the recorded amount should be automatically refunded. Um, so if you select deactivated, no amounts will be automatically refunded. Um, or in this point, if you select deactivated, um, yeah, no amounts will be automatically captured. Here we have the Klarna payment settings. Um, at this point here, you can just, uh, yeah, this is the point where you can select your Klarna payment options. So you can select or deselect your, yeah, uh, options like pay now, pay later or financing. So for example, you don't want pay now anymore, just deselect the selection and uh, yeah. Then we have the payment settings. Um, with the Klarna product, uh, yeah, Klarna product shows you whether your Klarna uh, payment extension is active. Uh, this can only be set via the wizard. Um, to get the wizard, just click on start wizard wizard in uh, the extension settings at the top. Then we have um, two other functions. Send extra merchant data and should the Klarna badge be displayed in the footer. Send extra merchant data. This function allows to send extra merchant data via the, the extension uh, from shopware to Klarna when setting up the user session and after Klarna's orders has been created. Um, for example, in case of additional fields in the reg registration process or in case of uh, yeah, hotel bookings, for example. And with this point, uh, yeah, if you s activate the, the setting, uh, the Klarna logo will appear in the footer of your shop. Um, deactivate the setting if you don't want this to happen. So now we come to the settings in your sales channel. Um, here I've got a little side note. Klarna is only available in selected countries, languages and currencies. So if additional countries or additional country language currency combinations are configured in the sales channel, the Klarna payment may, yeah, will not be available then. Um, so at this point, please note that the available countries may first need to be activated uh, for your account by the Klarna merchant support. 
So let's get to the payment and shipping options. At this point, we can just yeah um, add our new Klarna um, payment options. Like for example, the Klarna Direct Debit, the Klarna Online Bank Transfer, the Klarna Financing, Klarna Credit Card, Klarna Pay Later and Klarna Pay Now. I'll just select yeah, two or three of them and I will then have to click on Save. So now I can see that these payment methods are available in my shop. It's uh, yeah, these ones and the Klarna payment methods. At this point, we have yeah set all necessary settings uh, for the Klarna payment. Now I want to show you how to activate or deactivate payment types. Um, payment types are these. Klarna Financing, Klarna Pay Later, or Credit Card, and so on. Um, so if the Klarna Payment extension is activated, you can use all payment methods provided by Klarna for your sales channels. Um, so in order to make certain pay payment methods available um, to your customers, just go to Settings, Shop, and Payment. Now uh, we are in the overview of all our payment types. Um, so in the context menu, you can choose between edit and delete. This is this menu here. Um, if you click edit, uh, you can adjust the status. Uh, just click on it. Um, Just use a Klarna one. Uh, click on edit to yeah activate and deactivate it. Uh, you can adjust the the logo. Um, yeah, the position in the checkout. You can just adjust it here, and um, yeah, the description and the availability rule. Uh, so you can yeah set these types here in the option edit. Um, if you click delete uh, here with you delete the payment method completely. Um, after you have deleted it, you can no longer adjust the payment type. Um, note here that a payment method that has already been used to process payments uh, can only be deactivated, not deleted. Now we are yeah, done with our settings in the administration. At this point, I just want to show you how the payment methods and the selection looks like in your storefront. So I've already put some products in our shopping cart and I will now go to the shopping cart. Here you can select the shipping method and the payment methods. In this drop-down menu, you can also you can already see the Klarna payment types. So let's just uh, select one here and proceed to the checkout. Obviously, you can do that with every other payment type from uh, from Klarna. So at this point, you just have to click Submit Order and then you have uh, yeah, ordered with the Klarna payment method.